In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to turn an ordinary USB flash drive into something a little more mischievous. This hack will trick people into opening any program or script you have saved on the flash drive. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rishan and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here at Tech Scene ZA and you're interested in tech and awesome tech related projects and videos, you can start by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Before we start with the video, I'd like to make it perfectly clear that this is an educational video and is meant to be used in a purely jovial fashion. I can take no personal responsibility for the reckless use of the knowledge provided in this video. First, let's take a look at how this works. The user will plug in this USB drive wondering what's on it. And when opened, they'll see a single file that reads readme.txt. Without thinking twice, the victim will click on this file thinking that it would open a text file for them to read. But instead, it opens a file or executable which is set by you. So my executable, what it's done, is actually shut down the explorer.exe, so it closed down any file browsers, as well as it shut down the background. So that's why we're seeing a black background. And it's displaying a message, you just got hacked, no? And it lets them know that the PC is going to be shut down in 10 seconds. So for testing purposes, I actually inserted a break in the code so that my computer wouldn't shut down every time that I ran this file. So if I wanted to remove that, if I remove that actually, it would do all of this, it would close the explorer and display that message, and after 10 seconds, the PC would shut down. How is this done? This file is, uh, this file seen here, is not actually a file at all, but is actually a shortcut, as depicted by the type listed here. And most people won't realize it because it is labeled .txt because .txt is a text file extension as most people know. So if you're wondering how this works, this is a shortcut which points to a hidden folder. So if we tick hidden, view hidden items, there's a folder here called system. And that's another bluff most people would think that's actually system files, but it's not. It's actually hiding our executable file. And that is how this works. So it's stored in a hidden folder, and if you can't view hidden items, all you see is this .txt extension. So let's go ahead and create our own. We can start by formatting this USB so that we have a squeaky clean USB to actually start with. Okay, USB formatted. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating a folder. So let's go ahead, folder, uh, new, new, I'm sorry, my laptop is a bit slow. New folder. And we're going to label the system again because it's a ploy. People won't think that this is actually a hidden folder. And let's look up here, hide selected item. So now that folder is hidden. We tick hidden items, we go into this folder, and we're going to copy our executable. So copy USB system paste, right? So now let's view what our executable actually does. So the first line says, at echo off. That means it's not display what it's actually doing. So color A, that turns our text color to green. Then the next line is task kill forward slash F forward slash IM explorer.exe. So that closes our explorer and file browsers and even the background. Next line says, you just got hacked, no, and following, the, so the at echo is all display things. So it says PC shutting down in 10 seconds with a tongue out emoji. It says something else after that. 
And there's, there's a line here that says pause. So that's the line I was talking about where it creates the break. And if we take that out, when we run this, it will run all the way from displaying message and then shutting down after 10 seconds. And then the last line here says shut down forward slash S. So it's shutting down and time 10 seconds, all right? And that is our executable, our executable file saved as a dot bat. So that's a bash file, right? So that's our executable there. Let's go ahead and create our shortcut now. So new, let's go waiting. New shortcut, location. So USB, our systems folder that we created and we select the executable, right? So that's the location, we hit next. So let's give this shortcut a name and we're going to label it readme dot txt right finish and there we go but you'd notice that our shortcut does not have the text file uh, what you call that the text file icon so let's go ahead and click properties change icon okay then we select the text file icon of here, apply, and okay. So if we anti hidden items, there we go, readme.txt, and it actually looks like a text file with the text file icon. This is actually a simple way of doing it. There are some other ways where you could have a blank folder where the shortcut could look like a folder and actually open a blank folder and fool the user if you would want to do stuff in the background, like sending yourself emails and stuff, but don't go into that if you're planning anything malicious. You could also convert that bat file to an executable file. So you wouldn't need the hidden folder and stuff. You could label that uh, again, needforspeed.exe. And when you execute that, it would run the batch file and do what we've done so far. We could also even um, create an auto run. So as soon as you plug the USB in, it would auto, uh, auto run this uh, executable file. So there are quite a few things that can be done with our evil USB and maybe you might be seeing it again. You, you never know. And that brings us to the end. Before we roll the outro, I have a couple of announcements to make. Firstly. Texting ZA is on the lookout for sponsors. So if you do know anyone who would be interested in possibly sponsoring an episode of Texting ZA or loaning us a device for review, please put them in contact with us. Our business email address is linked in the description below. Second, I'd like to give a shout out to Jade Bejna, who's one of our most supportive subscribers. Jade is the first to comment on any video, no matter when or what time it's uploaded. Jade, you are a true and dear tech scene and stay awesome. Thirdly, I'd like to reiterate that the information provided to you in this video was meant to be used in an educational and jovial fashion. I cannot be held responsible for the reckless use of this information. If you've made it to the end, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to let us know that you've enjoyed it and get subscribed if you aren't subscribed already, turning on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you same time, same place next week.